Hello everyone, it is day one of lockdown 2.0 and I thought I'd do a day in the life. I didn't mean for it to fall on the day one of the whole 2.0 situation, but it has. I am very fed up of all of these role changing situations. I just want to be stable. I've just come out of university into a world that I can't do anything in. I am trying to sort myself out. I have a small business now, uh, running a Depop shop, so I need to do stuff with that and I can be spending my even more free time doing that. Also, football, I was doing football photography and now I can't do that, so I have two extra days to do something. One day was football and I was there for like, from like half 12 until four and then the next day I'd be editing a lot and now two extra three days so the first thing it's it's like 10 to 10 my mum's just left for work now I'm on my own until like 7 the first thing I do when I have the whole house to myself is a workout I'm working out again uh, getting fit and just trying to keep my mental health on the up it's been a lot better since I've been using Headspace and come off my psoriasis medication. I'm going to make a video about that because that was a whole five years of my body being messed up for no reason, pretty much. So yeah, I'm going to exercise now. That was a good workout. Diesel is about to get up and leave. That was a intense workout. I've been doing the like low impact cardio ones for about a week or two and then now I've just started the Kyber Ting ones. And I am aching really bad. <laughs> but it was a good workout. I did warm up because I didn't know she had warm ups on there but I found one, did a workout one of hers, um, I think it was the legs and stomach one and a cool down and it was such a good stretch so I am very hungry also I had the news on for all of yesterday to watch the election updates in the US I think the whole world is watching and it's really interesting and I'm hoping that Biden wins because anything is better than the current one that's all I have to say I made a couple of TikToks about it if you're interested, link below. <laughs> I already said that. I'm gonna eat some yogurt. I have some Alpro yogurt. They didn't have any mango one in the shop, which we're really disappointed about, but you know. People are probably panic buying yogurts because during the last lockdown, people were buying uh, lactose free milk when nobody ever buys it. So when I was having that, I went in the shop and there was nothing there. Uh, I went back and forth between lactose free milk and oat milk and then people even panic buy an oat milk and I've never seen it, the shelf empty of it before so I do need to go and get some again uh, so I probably should get ready and go buy stuff also my mum has been watering Nelly because I keep forgetting I am a terrible plant mum I had some plants at university that didn't make it back with me I am now back from my food shop. I was gone for approximately 20 minutes. So I'm going to do a little food haul because it's a day in the life and yeah. <laughs> the first, first thing is apples. Real got apples to be specific. Uh, Diesel is watching me do this haul. He's thinking what on earth is she doing? Next thing is eggs raspberries because I've been getting 
back into berries. Next thing I thought I'd try is Incredible Burgers. These are their new like plant-based range. And I hope these are nice because I want to stop eating meat so much. Um, I don't eat a lot anyway, mainly just chicken, but sometimes beef. Oat milk, they had some. Uh, it was two for two fifty, but I decided not to get that because budgeting, uh, buying what I need when I need it. Saving the best for last. Oh, I absolutely love these vegan chocolate cupcakes. These are literally the best cupcakes I have ever had in my entire life and I'm really really happy that they had some in. Uh, I get to do my little happy cake dance. I'm really hungry. I might try these burgers but I'm not sure if we have buns. Let's check if we have buns. Uh, we don't have buns. But we have bread. I will have burger on bread. Hopefully it's nice. Please, please, please be nice. Please be nice because I am actually starving. After my workout, I was walking to the shop and I could feel my legs have been very worked out. And I need something, calories. I need loads of calories in me right now. The burger is done, I put some mayo on it, I had to use normal bread because there is no buns. But yeah, it looks interesting, it looks okay. Uh, right, <laughs> I also blotted it off because grease does not like me. <laughs> Back in the cupboard you go. Uh, some lighting. Right, it's also cold and I didn't want to wear my white jumper. I realise this has also got white on it but it's okay. I've had uh, vegetarian burgers in the past. This is a vegan one, I'm not sure what the difference is. I'm hoping this is nice. I've liked them before and I hope I like it again because I'm so hungry still. Hmm. Hmm. That is nice. That is nice. I can feel it on my teeth, but um, Okay, I need to do like a take two just in case. I am very happy. I'm gonna take my burger, my burger sandwich and eat. That is so good, oh my gosh. <laughs> right, I completely forgot to say how my day started. It started at, wow, okay. It started at quarter to two this morning when a loud sound woke me up, I looked up, the security light was on out back. I looked outside and a fox was just like running about the garden. We don't have like holes like in the fences because the fences were all done, um, was it this year or last year? I don't remember. But this fox got stuck in the garden and was trying to jump up the fence, but I think it might have been a baby one because it couldn't jump properly. It was kind of big, but like, yeah, uh, it tried to jump on the shed, but we don't have flat a flat shed anymore. It's like a roof, so <laughs> it jumped and kind of slid and fell, which is really sad. But I was just like, it shocked me awake, so I was like very anxious. Like my anxiety was going because I didn't expect to be like woken up, like startled. Um, so yeah, that happened. That's not what I was going to talk about. I decided that I am going to apply for a master's because this year like everything has been so uncertain and I think the next year or two will be really uncertain um, at least the next year so I thought why not do something that is definitely gonna be a thing if I get accepted and do a master's because instead of just sitting at home spending maybe just a couple of hours doing videos, a couple of hours working on my business and spending like the rest of the time doing nothing. Why don't I go back and study? Oh yeah, ironically I'm wearing my um, uni hoodie. I'm not going to the same uni. Um, 
I had the worst, worst, worst experience at university and I think I'm just going to stick to one at home. <laughs> and then I thought, what am I going to do a master's in? Should I do something completely different? I was thinking of doing business because I have a business now but that would be completely boring and I don't think that it's necessary. I'm not to the camera. I'm applying for a film master's because not many start in January and I left it quite late because I, in my head I was like no, no masters, we're not doing one. So I was like no masters, no, not a, none at all. And then when I started thinking, you know what, I want to do one. It was October and they started in October. But I think everything works out in its own way and if I do this one in January then it's meant to be. I'm one of those people. Uh, yeah, so I am trying to write a personal statement because I forgot they existed. Uh, I think it has to be like 500 words. How many do I have? Um, 241, so getting there. I don't think it's gonna be too long. I don't know how to write one. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do that. Uh, I hope I'm muted. I am muted. Um, oh, I forgot I have my glasses on. I am doing a bookkeeping workshop with the Princess Trust because I did their enterprise workshop and now I have a business and I've got loads of stuff for it. I'm the first person to join the meeting, there's someone else in it now, just waiting for people. I'm gonna learn about bookkeeping because finances, I, I can do maths but the whole finance keeping thing I do need a bit of help with. So yeah, this should be good. Uh, gonna make notes. A treat for you. <laughs> Cute. Oh, that workshop was interesting. I learned a little bit, got a free uh, template, uh, but I'm so tired. Why don't you go on? I forgot to check the updates for the election, but I think it's Wisconsin. Uh, they are on Biden's side uh, and he is getting closer to getting him out but anyways and um, what I was actually gonna say is I'm hungry I can't be bothered to make dinner so I'm gonna have cereal in a box and later I'll have porridge and strawberries it's six I just ate my cereal I have the rest of my tinned peaches and I'm watching Doctor Who, it's like Drag Race, I can re-watch it over and over again. But this is the first time I'm re-watching Peter Capaldi's seasons, which I've just realised. Um, which is kind of odd to think about. But yeah, I'm on the last episode of season 9, I think it's the Christmas one. And it's okay to watch it now because it's after Halloween. I was watching the originals, but... I'm a little bit bored. I watched all of the Vampire Diaries. I don't know if I mentioned in another vlog, but I finished that and I tried to start this, um, this one, but it just wasn't happening. So I'll go back to it at some point. But I want to watch Misfits after I finished Doctor Who. Never seen it. I also want to watch The Inbetweeners because I've never watched that either. I am British and I've never watched The Inbetweeners. I love Friday Night Dinner, but I just haven't watched that one. So yeah, I'm gonna watch. Doctor Who and eat my peaches. <laughs> I almost forgot to end the vlog. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe, hit that notification bell. All of my social media links will be in the description if you're interested, including my Depop shop where I'm selling pre loved and vintage clothing. I am a small business owner now, so help me out if you can, that would be great. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.